Welcome to my sex pad. Bro, this go, bro. Right now, hurry up. What's going on, my brothers and sisters? No, the same right here. And, uh, yep, we gotta beat Pop Goes. That's be like one of the quickest intros I've ever did. Wait, third night? Uh uh. I gotta rebeat the third night. Are you. I was going for a run where I beat the game without dying, without seeing the death stream. Well, all right, my samurai brothers and sisters, it's 5 a.m. And you got to like stay calm in the actual game. Like, like you got to stay calm in real life, just like the actual game. Because I've been freaking out. And once you start freaking out in real life, you get messed up. Because you got to keep doing the same junk over and over again. You got to stay concentrated. Man, this game is freaking intense. And that bird, that bird sucker. Yeah, that bird sucker can really jack you up. Because he'd be like holding a freaking big old sign blocking your whole screen. Hey, we got the thing. Red eyes. I'm seeing things. What the freak? Oh, that's when the bird sucker. Oh no. That's when the bird like starts looking at you. This about to be scary. Good. No. You can even call it that. I think now might be a good time for you to know a little more about me. I have a feeling that you might be curious. Am I wrong? Yes. Right then. I was born in November 1968 in Texas. Lived a fine life up until my teens. Had no real problems with my family, but we weren't exactly rich. My father was an architect at the time, and my mother stayed home with my brother and I. Until the 80s, we lived in a flat. Or, I suppose it would have been called an apartment over there. It was pretty decent, I think, but... Oh, honestly, I, I think I'm dead. Yeah, he already got a freaking my teens. Stuff I really don't want to talk about. Please don't ask. Might explain in a later call or something if there is a time. Anyway, fortunately, I, I can't see nothing. Not. It was all down to a very Ah, oh, come on. That sucker gone. Can't see blocking me. Pink. Pink. I then I was close to death, bear in mind. I I'm dead. I just clicked off the whole freaking game. Let's try that again, alright? Let's try that again. Hello again. I've decided to take some breaks between recording these calls. Not many are left, but still, I didn't think it would be this stressful. I've just got some notes, not a script or anything. I feel like I might be talking too much about things that are obvious for you, so I'm just gonna wing this one. I think at this point you must be pretty confident with your job now. Even call it that. I think now might be a good time for you to know a little more about Crap. I have a feeling that you might be curious. Am I wrong? Right then. I was born in November 1968 in Texas. Lived a fine life up until my teens. Had no real problems with my family, but we weren't exactly rich. My father was an architect at the time, and my mother stayed home with my brother and I. Until the 80s, we lived in a flat. Or, I suppose it would have been called an apartment over there. It was pretty decent, I think, but honestly, I can't remember much. All right. Badger. Stuff I All right. really don't want to talk about. Please don't ask. Might explain in a later call or something if there is. The freak that noise. Anyway, fortunately I survived the injury, believe it or not. It was all down to a very generous donor. Your blood. The whole thing was pretty strange and vague for us. And all I know was a small team of people. All right. One person was willing to give time uh, to uh, the hospital. And after an entire encyclopedia of signed papers, the transfusion was allowed on behalf of the procedure being an experiment. Freaking out. I lost most of my memory from before the incident, and the whole event caused a huge stir in the media. I was 18, and with the state I was in, I can't see nothing. He got another piece. So I sorted out something with my parents, and we moved here to England. 
Nice. Hopefully on top of being a security guard, you can be a friend too. I wanted to get some of these stories off my chest for a while. It's, uh, he got it. He got it. He got a third piece. And my daughter's kind of busy most of the time. Just someone for me to talk to. And of course, listen to. So or not. Said, what do you want to talk about? What else have I made? Hmm. Well, this recording system is over five hours left on it, but I still don't think that's enough time to come uh, I've made. It's been I'm dead. The freak garage, the technology isn't that impressive nowadays, I know, but it was an amazing feat. It looked like garbage, but it worked. Since then, it's been modified to be road safe, and now my daughter uses it. Back in the late 90s, I made a few electric red, cars, sold them to a secondary school, and in 2006, crap, I made a video game with Bonnie's help. Oh, Bonnie's the name of my daughter, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. You did. Oh, yeah, and of course, I made the 3D printers recently, which helped me print smaller plastic parts for projects and toys and whatnot. That's really it. Don't think I should mention anything. Whoa, whoa, look, that always freaking scared. <laughs> freaking scary, bro. The badger's the real freaking enemy in this. I'm dead. He got another piece. Yeah, he only need one more piece. Suckers in the vents, suckers in the vents. Uh, see what I mean? You gotta actually like keep calm in real life and not like freak out. This sucker blocking everything. Move. I gotta see, man. He got another piece. He got he got he got the last piece. Fam. And what did I say? Well, my samurai brothers and sisters, I just clicked off at a whole freaking game. Man, I don't know if we're going to beat this anymore. If y'all want to see me, oh, there's a whole Hummer in the background. Hold on. If y'all want to see me, uh, you know, beat this. Whoa, what? What's going on in this video? All right, then. If y'all want to see me beat, uh, Pop Goes. Put it in the comments because um, I'm not coming back otherwise because uh, this game is scary. All right. And the badger, the badger is the freaking real scariest thing in the game because I don't think I've ever been scared by animatronic just standing there before. The badger is the scariest part of the whole freaking game. Well, anyways, my samurai brothers and sisters, if you have enjoyed, be sure to sister samurai, slice the like button. So try the Cory Kitchen to join the Samurai. And until next time, I'll be But hang on. What is this video? Like, I want to know what the freak this video is like for real. All right, I'm I'm curious now. I'm curious. I, I've watched like all of Corey's videos, but house? except like some of the the first ones, I haven't seen a few of them. Hey, Corey, let me come talk to you in the back room for a minute. Uh, sure thing. Hold on. What the freak? Uh, sir, may I ask why we have to talk in the bathroom? You may not ask why I'm questioning you in the bathroom. Your beard looks Shut weird. Up, that's beside the point. If you so much as touch my daughter inappropriately, I'll beat you with a 2x4 until it's a 1x2. Got it? Yeah, I got it, sir. Alright, honey, I'm leaving for work. You two kids have fun now. Nah, I'm about to break up with her. Uh uh. Remember what I told you. Dad freaking doing crack. I I'm good. I'm good. I I'ma come with you. Don't don't shut the door behind you. I'm good. What were you and my dad talking about? Daddy's scary.
Oh, no, he's not, you silly. He's just a big old softy, soft bear. What the let's freak? Alright, let's go. You live downstairs? Wow. What's wrong with living downstairs? Hmm. Welcome to my sex pad. Alright, that's why I ended anyways. <laughs> Alright, my samurai brothers and sisters. This whole video turned into a reaction. I just clicked off because I was freaking shocked. But I I, I still want to see where this is going because I actually haven't watched this. I ain't know Corey was like that back then. Welcome to my sex pack. Matt. Uh, oh, um, you've done this before? Oh, sure, baby. I'm pro at this, but not without a cost. I have every STD in the book. Chlamydia, AIDS, syphilis, <sighs> trichomoniasis. Man, you just le leave. Horrid genitalia disease. What is that? HGD, crabs, crabs 2.0. Oh, what? Squid. Hepatitis, squid? And I got this new disease. The acronym is DGYCIH. Wait, 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 wait. I've never even heard of that last one. What the butt is that? Oh, it stands for dang girl, your crotch is horrible. Was getting all of this worth it? It's called leave oh, it. totally. Even though I'm gonna die soon and I'm not gonna live an awesome full life, the few minutes of sex is like, it's like dragging your face at the bottom of a swimming pool. You know how it's always jagged and rocky and stuff? Oh, I love that. Come here, silly. Let's go. Uh, hey, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dang, girl. That's when I leave. You have to throw me on the bed now. Uh uh. Uh uh. First off, pause on this whole situation. Corey, I can't take it anymore. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. What the freak was anime Corey doing? What is this? Boy, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. I'm sorry. No, Kelsey. No, you don't have a choice no. now. No. Wait, what? Have sex no matter no, what. Kelsey, no. You no. can't turn me down. No one turns Kelsey down. I'm going home now. Maybe further in our relationship. Uh uh. Did you hear what I said? There ain't no. No one turns Kelsey down. Oh nah. Oh no. Nah. One turns Kelsey down. Well, she got the auto. I didn't have to do this. You saw how he whipped that out? No, he left me no choice. No choice at all! Hello, children. I advise that you never, ever, ever have sex out of marriage. Or you could catch an STD like AIDS, herpes, syphilis, trichomoniasis, or maybe even horrid genitalia disease. And if you did have sex out of marriage and somehow didn't catch an STD, then an old crinkly woman will come up to your window at night topless and the world will implode. And we don't want the world to implode. Thank you for watching. I don't know what that was. I, I haven't seen it. It's my first time ever watching this video.